What's happening gamers? It's Kaylin here and happy Easter! Don't go anywhere because your channel updates are coming up right after this. Alright, so uh, shaky cam is not really gonna work, so this is the other side of the office that you guys don't really see so much, the side that I get to see when I do all my editing and stuff like that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching the wonderful 101. We are so happy that that series is over. So Spider-Man Edge of Time is ready to take wonderful 101's place. Starting Monday, tomorrow night at 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have episodes already going up. We're very excited about it. And the series, unfortunately, is gonna be very, very short. You get 11 episodes and no costumes. I really, shot through that game uh, back in February. We just like, boom, went like right through it. I didn't really do uh, a lot of um, pre-play, I guess you could say. So, you know, I remember some stuff from back in the day, but I didn't have time to invest like finding all the costumes like I did in the other series. But story-wise, the entire game is done. So you guys have that to look forward to. Uh, in April, while we are at PAX East, we will be running a series in the morning called Unravel which that series was so adorable, it was done on the PS4, and it's over. It is also only 11 episodes, with episodes running anywhere between 18 to 31 minutes. Uh, this week, we will be looking at Superman in LEGO Dimensions, as well as Aquaman in Atlantis! Now Thursdays, just so you know, are Game Loft days. Uh, at 5 p.m. we will always look at something Gameloft related because we do work with them, we enjoy their tablet games, and we want to tell people about their tablet games because Spider-Man Unlimited was a lot of fun. I'm not done with that game yet. I really do enjoy that runner, but I also would like to look at some uh, new runners like Tron's Runner and things like that, as well as a really cool runner that I saw on the Wii U the other night when I was working on the uh, DLC stuff for Hyrule Warriors. Speaking of Hyrule Warriors, again, there's a live stream tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we will be going through part two with Linkle. Um, we're gonna get a lot of the sound bugs worked out from uh, last night. There were some problems with it that we noticed, like, uh, well, you guys couldn't hear the game, and I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, but the most important thing was hearing our voices, and now that we know what's going on with that, we're able to kind of fix that, and hopefully that will be a little bit better for you. We also will be doing showcases of DLC characters on the Wii U, so Linkle, The King, uh, Tetra, Wind Waker Link, and whoever else I miss, Skull Kid. Uh, they will be done on the Wii U, I've already started leveling up those characters, and Amber will be playing as well. So you can expect showcases of that every once in a while. Now, Marvel Battlegrounds is kind of dying down a little bit, so we have some K-Box stuff coming back. I believe it's on Wednesday, but we have another versus battle for you tomorrow, and it's Gamora versus Black Widow. That will happen at 7 a.m. right before you guys go to school, or are at school, so you can watch it at lunchtime or whatever. Um, the episode was really fun for us to shoot, and uh, Marvel Battlegrounds is going to be slowing down a little bit because we have other games to look at. Star Fox Zero, very, very excited to do that game. You have no idea how big of a Star Fox fan I am. We are going to do the entire series starting on release day, which is going to be interesting for us because we're going to have to do it at PAX. But we have some really cool equipment that we will have at PAX that is basically a TV and a console in one that's inside of a suitcase. I would show it to you guys, but I don't have it up here in the office. It's downstairs. So, yeah. We also, in April, will be doing Marvel Civil War uh, for the um, PS3. We are playing Team Cap because Iron Man does some very questionable things in the game and also in the comic book. He hired villains to go after people's families. The whole registration thing was to protect, you know, a hero's secret identity so his family wouldn't be targeted. And, you know, Aunt May is kind of uh, Tony Stark's fault as well. So, I mean, we are always Team Cap in that respect, and uh, we're going to start uh, playing that very soon, and it'll be ready in time for Captain America Civil War. On the Nightwing 01 channel, we are doing, a, or I am doing a video today called DC Rebirth. Amber's kind of taking a nap. Um, she should be up by the time we do the live stream, so I'm going to go quickly do a DC Rebirth uh, video talking about what it is for the 01 audience, and I'm very excited that Nightwing is alive and well and back in blue and black and kind of like with the pre-52 look, but I'll explain more of that on the 01 channel. Not really going to talk about KM at all. 
Uh, in terms of other live streams, what we want to do in April is bring back uh, Professor Layton on Tuesdays. Have that be like a two and a half hour stream, uh, 1 p.m. until about 4 p.m. So those of you in uh, Europe who enjoyed watching that kind of stuff, it is coming back. We're going to have to go through and fix some things with uh, the story because we weren't able to save and it was all messy and we had to cut it right at the end of a 40-minute um, dialogue when we were losing our voices because it's a very expressive series. It's, it's really fun for us. Scribble Knots um, is a filler series that will be coming off and on. Um, it's not really a full dedicated series. It was done while we were uh, building our server and doing all this other stuff to get K-Wing's Let's Plays like up and running much, much better. Um, so that series will appear, if it ever it does, Tuesday mornings, Thursday mornings, Saturday and Sunday. Um, K-Box will be returning, I believe it's Wednesday or Friday. And uh, Friday is also the return of Fire Emblem where Amber will be tackling chapters 10 through, I don't remember, but everybody's saying that chapter 10 is gonna be difficult for her, so I'm interested to see how that's gonna go. It's supposed to be one of the hardest levels in Conquest, and I'm very excited to see her tackle that. But anyway, I'm running out of battery, so that's gonna conclude this. Just real quick recap, April is uh, Marvel Civil War PS3, Unravel, and Star Fox Zero. Also live streams of uh, Shovel Knight Co-op, which we'll only do a couple episodes of that. And live streams for March are gonna be mostly Hyrule Warriors on the 3DS. And we're just gonna do like two and a half hour live streams throughout the week. Very sporadic, lots of fun. Uh, Pokin tournaments might uh, be coming back as a live stream. We were really happy with how you guys enjoyed that and we're highly considering it. But anyway, have a very happy Easter. Thanks for watching this little update thing. Probably lost, uh, forgot some stuff, but uh, it's all off the top of my head, so. You know, I hope you guys have a great one, and uh, we'll see you tonight on the live stream. God bless. Happy gaming. Bye-bye.